What's good, OTG gang? I don't know why I said OTG gang, but OTG means OT gang. But y'all know that. But what's good? I mean, <laughs> I messed up the intro. Uh, one Take J here, and we are about to watch True Hotel Horror Story Animated. Let's get it. My name is Adam, and I was about 17 years old when this incident happened. So, back in 2015, two of my friends and I went to Disneyland in California. We were there until 11 p.m., and all of us were too tired to drive home in my friend Jay's minivan. So, we ended up staying at a hotel. However, our budget was kind of tight to stay at a nice hotel. So, we settled at a small two-story brown hotel. As soon as we walked in, it was very dark inside, and I could see the front desk light was on. The short guy at the front desk seemed to be in his 30s and had a very friendly smile. He said to us that we were the only customers he had seen all day. And then we paid him $30 for the room. Crap. We could choose any room we wanted since there were no other people Hotel staying suspicious. there. So we picked room 7 on the second floor. When we walked into the room, Jay jumped on the bed and okay. fell asleep right away. Sleep. There was one bed Slump. and a couch left. So we argued over who was going to have a bed. I don't care. Rudy was especially scared about the Yelp app review that lots of people heard large rats in the vents. So I ended up lying on That's a weird. large, stiff red couch right above this large vent. Uh, the vent was large enough, and it was close. Why, why did he say that, though? Like, now I'm, now I'm looking at the vent. Suspicious now. Like close enough to the ground to crawl in there. I was joking with Rudy that the rats are going to come through the van ah. and eat him alive. And this he made him scared. on edge. Mm. But he finally fell asleep. Nah, but... Around 1 a.m. when I finally went to sleep, I suddenly awoke to a bump sound in the vent. See? Now I'm suspicious. He, he was looking at that uh, documentary of the rats and stuff, and there could be rats down there. He was making jokes. It might be real now. I looked around the room to see if all the suitcases were open, but both Jay and Rudy were asleep. So I was Coming pretty spooked now, huh? out at that time. No rat could do this, I thought to myself. Just yeah, that ain't then, no rat, that's why. <laughs> something caught my eyes, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Whoa! The man's face was staring at me. Boy, like, boy. Yeah, he looked like he looked like that. At me through the vent. I quickly grabbed my phone and turned the flashlight on to see the man's whole face. He had a few teeth missing and strands of hair had fallen out from the side of his head. He then slowly opened the vent and said like this, Please, don't scream. She won't like it. I yelled, and Jay and Rudy both awoke in fear. And just then, the man got out and tried to grab me as all of them ran out of the room. We all ran down to the front desk and called the police. A few minutes later, the police arrived. When they entered the room, no one was there, so they decided to check inside the vents. To my surprise, they found him in the corner of the vent with blankets and food as if he'd been living in there for a long time. They ended up pulling him out and arrested him. For a week, I was still in shock from what had happened. But the other day in the morning, one of the officers called me and told me about him. Dude, this he crazy. escaped from the mental hospital four months ago and murdered his mother and grandmother. Oh, that's messed up. It is said that the it bodies have been badly dismembered. That's why your teeth are crooked. He also had a kitchen knife in his pocket when they arrested him. Crazy. They sent him back to the county jail, and I heard nothing else from the officer after that. This bald head. To this day, I still wonder what would have happened to me and my friends if I just ignored the sound from the <laughs> yeah, vent bro. that night. Y'all would, would have been dead, bro. Just like them. That's crazy. That was a good story, though. Um... Bro, so there weren't no rats. That's good. You know, that, that ain't even as bad as this. Like, this dude's killing people, but... 
mad crazy though. I'm not gonna lie. But um, I hope y'all enjoyed this though. Make sure I subscribe, like, share. I kind of said that all backwards, but make sure y'all do all that. Boy, take